So, where, where have we come now, Patrick? So, uh, we're, we're currently in the village of Poek. Uh, it's a small village outside of uh, Worcester. And it's famous because uh, Edward Elgar actually had his first job here. He was um, performing in a, in, a in a lunatic asylum to the uh, patients. Um, so that's obviously why it is significant. But it's also very famous for the Battle of Worcester because earlier in the day, on the 28th of August... Um, what were you? This was 1651. 1651. Oliver Cromwell um, had taken Powick, which is a bit further up the river, and sorry, sorry, not Powick, sorry, they had taken Upton, Upton uh, upon Seven, and that's a bit further that way. And what happened next was he was then marching on Worcester. So he came, they came to this area here where there was um, uh, Charles II's Royalist Army were positioned, and they were here, um, the uh, the army of Charles II, because this is actually a hill. And it was a good, uh, it was a good place for defence. So if you just want to come over this, this, this way, so uh, if so you... we're going to go past the clergy only <laughs> side. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and then hopefully it's going to yeah. be it's going to be open. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's have a little look here. There we go. And if you want to keep coming here, oh, so it's, it's a, a beautiful, it's a, it's a slippery path. Beautiful church, absolutely beautiful church. Um, this uh, cemetery as well is uh, significant because you know Lee and Perrin's was the official source. Yeah, I think Lee. What, one of my favourite sources. Yeah, Lee is in fact buried in this. Uh, oh graveyard. right. No, I've not been able to locate the um, Perrin's. Uh, the gravestone yet. As you can see, there's quite a few, so it would take uh, quite, 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 quite a while. Now, if you can imagine, so this is actually on a hill. I don't think it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's, like it's on a hill, but yeah, Cromwell's. Um, model army would have been at the bottom of the hill and they would have used you know the um the guns back then do you know what they were called cannons muskets oh muskets, they would have right. had their muskets. Yeah, yeah they would have been stationed down here yeah so this is 1651 and so apparently the day of the battle, battle of worcester it was quite um quite it was quite a warm day they'd been like thunder the night before and they were firing up to charles the second's army and if you have a look on the side of the church here i'm going to come over over here, there's actually some musket holes. Oh yeah. Um, from 1651, um, yeah. and these are still on the side of the church. Um, still, I've got around to repair them. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you think about that, that was how many, how many, how many years ago? No, there, there you are. Good maths question. Work it out for yourselves. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to go here. So apparently, um, Cromwell's uh, army were then able to advance on Worcester as it were and yeah. so the uh, Royalist army were then in retreat they would have actually have sought refuge inside the church from all of the uh, constant 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 firing of bullets and so that was it so really the next strategic position to take for Cromwell was Poet Bridge and so there was another um, Scottish um, unit which was based uh, by Poet Bridge and that was obviously the next target. Now as you can see it's a beautiful cemetery and I think most of these gravestones, how old would you say they are? Like this is this is like you're talking 200 years, 300 years. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's very, very, you know. 100 uh, years for that one, 1914 so I guess yeah. that might have been a war death. So we're just, we're just going to carry on walking here. Yeah. Um, I'll just turn the ca uh, camera off for a second for you. No, 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 if you, if you, oh, no, if, no. You, if you want to keep the camera on. So what I want you to imagine is, imagine like, you know, one of Charles II's soldiers was, was, was fleeing this strategic spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. How it, how it, how it would have felt. And you kind of get a feel, feel for the hill. You know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Obviously, in the cemetery, it's, it's quite uh, difficult for that. But I want to just uh, bring you down here, if I can. And there we go. So, um... Yeah, so as I, as I mentioned to you earlier, Richard, so Worcester's very important because of its uh, proximity. It was a very royalist city. It was faithful yeah. to the crown. And it also its uh, position to Wales uh, was also of great importance because um, there was a possibility of Charles II getting, getting further support from, um, from the Welsh. However, yeah. this support never actually turned up yeah. because Cromwell had closed off all of the um you know uh the the rivers and the, the crossing borders, points all the, yeah. yes that's it the important um crossing points so it left charles with a bit of a sticky position so we're going to get through these nettles here and then we're going to go to 
let's have a look at this field. I'm actually going to let you uh, yeah, yeah. overtake me. And there we go. And I've got a little challenge for you. Can you see Worcester Cathedral anywhere in the distance? If you have a little look, can you see it? Let's have a little look. So, okay, it is actually over there, but I think there's a couple of trees that have uh, shot yeah. up there. So, Poet, Poet Bridge is just located gonna, there. Gonna so, Poet, Poet Bridge, and that yeah, is yeah. where. That is where the Scottish uh, soldiers went to. So yeah, obviously that's where we were earlier. The Scottish... Yeah. Or, or, yeah. Uh, Scottish. or later. That's what we're going to later. If yeah, we edit so this differently. The Scottish yeah. um, soldiers, there was, there, was, there was a further unit yeah, there. Yeah. But obviously Cromwell's army were obviously marching through this field. Yeah. And there would have been lots of um, uh, Scottish soldiers lying dead uh, in these, uh, in these uh, fields here. So it's quite grim to think that they marched all the way down to Scotland to fight with Charles II to die in a field in... Worcestershire um, and there's a plaque actually by Poet Bridge to remember all the Scottish uh, soldiers who who died and quite a couple of inter interesting things in, in the English Civil War like more soldiers died than all of World War One um, and it's interesting cause, because people say that there's no, it's not documented enough in schools in no, England yeah. but it was a very important part of English history very important um, yeah really so um, that's it but, but we'll go to Poet, Poet Bridge uh, next this mill here was a military barracks yeah. during the Civil War, so the Scottish uh, soldiers would have been based here. And if you want to just carry on, yeah, yeah. over here. So, um, Cromwell's army wanted to cross this river. Yeah. The river is called the River Team. It's about 80 miles long, and it goes all the way into Wales. Right. And it had important, uh, it was of great importance to uh, Charles II because he wanted to mobilise troops yeah, yeah, yeah. from Wales. And there's something here which. Yeah, yeah, can I, can, yeah, yeah, go, go on. Um, I, I, uh, there, is, there is something here from, I think it's like a uh, member of the Scottish Parliament, and it's yeah. just in memory of all the thousands of Scots who came down because obviously Charles II um, mobilised uh, soldiers from Scotland and they, they marched all the way uh, down to England yeah. because it was the intention to invade 500 England. 500 miles or 500 more. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was their intention to um, invade England. Um, and many of them perished, many of them died on this uh, bridge. So Cromwell's army would have been over that side. Right. And they came over with their uh, muskets and their horses and, yeah. they, and they took this bridge. And then from there they were then able to then go into Worcester. Right. Um, so a bridge, a bridge too far for the wanna... Scots. <laughs> bit like Sean Comrie in that film. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then if you want to come in, you want to come in no, no, If I could just say, any, any, any of the two or three people who've seen any of my other videos do know I, I do love a good information board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this over here is, uh, is the old uh, map of uh, Worcester. You can see like the walled yeah, yeah. city. Um, and then this is some information here. Um, what's very, very interesting is... Um, a bit further up the river, yeah. Cromwell had some more soldiers who needed to cross and he used a row of boats and he created a bridge of boats to get the soldiers over so that they were able to then uh, attack from the other side. If you keep walking along hey, the river team here... Are you sure it wasn't a bridge too far? <laughs> <laughs> if you keep walking along the river team here, you get to the confluence where it meets the Severn. Okay. And yeah. that was all. that's also a very important spot. But what we'll do now is we'll cross over the bridge. Yeah, yeah. To, uh, follow me. Let's have a look. Yeah. Um, what's quite interest, what's quite interesting is um, the Battle of Worcester was um, was 1650, 1651. Yeah. And it lasted for one day. And as far as I'm, as far as I'm, I'm aware, um, they think that um, it was obviously the final battle of the Civil War, yeah. which had lasted for. I don't know, po po approximately 11 years. Right, so... And um, this bridge today is, in fact, a weak bridge. So it's called Powick Bridge. It's in the village of, of Powick. Um, and that's the modern bridge now. So that is where the cars uh, cross over. Right, yeah. Um, and as I was saying, if you keep going that way, you get to the River Severn, and that's like the centre of Worcester. And if you go this way, you're going on into uh, Wales. So, brilliant. So... The, the bridge you're standing on now, yes. when was this structure? Because it look, it's interesting, it looks like they've got passing places, but just maybe for horses yeah. or something, or, or I, I don't know. Well, what, what? A, that is a really good uh, question. Yeah. I think, uh, obviously, um, bridges back then, it, like, if yeah. you look at, like, designs of bridges over the years, obviously, this is very typical of that period. So this is kind of right. a Tudor student period. And Worcester became um, quite an important market town 
So it would have been probably built for that purpose. Yeah, um, yeah. And having connections to um, Wales uh, was important. But but the, but the rivers during the Civil War, Cromwell used them to basically block uh, Charles II's path. So if you had this bridge blocked off, it meant that Charles II couldn't escape to um, Wales. Yeah. And his other intention was to block off the River Severn. So a bit further over there, there's another town called Upton upon Severn. Yeah. And the night before the Battle of Worcester, um, he actually closed off. Uh, he actually was able to, to get that part of the river, and that would have been going south. Right. Um, which meant that Charles II couldn't get south uh, to get out of Worcester. And then he also had a place in the north called Bude, um, Budley. Yeah. That meant that Charles II couldn't get to the north. So in the Battle of Worcester, he's basically um, in a difficult situation. He's got to escape from Worcester. And but, how did he do that? Just re retell me that well, story. I will. I will. Uh, if it's possible. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll come, come, we'll, we'll do, do that later. later.